Good afternoon and welcome. We're going to begin today with number 646, We Belong to You, number 646. Raises through life in the spirit, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You bring light to those in darkness, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God, author of every mercy and of all goodness, who in fasting, prayer, and almsgiving have shown us a remedy for sin, but graciously on this confession of our lowliness, that we who are bowed down by conscience may always be lifted up by your mercy. Our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, in their thirst for water, the people grumbled against Moses, saying, why did you ever make us leave Egypt? Was it just to have us die here of thirst with our children and our livestock? So Moses cried out to the Lord, What shall I do with this people? A little more and they will stone me. The Lord answered Moses, Go over there in front of the people along with some of the elders of Israel, holding in your hand as you go the staff with which you struck the river. I will be standing there in front of you on the rock in Horeb. Strike the rock, and the water will flow from it for the people to drink. This Moses did in the presence of the elders of Israel. The place was called Massah and Meribah because the Israelites quarreled there and tested the Lord, saying, Is the Lord in our midst 
or not. The word of the Lord. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. 
through whom we have gained access by faith to this grace in which we stand, and we boast in hope of the glory of God. And hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. For Christ, while we were still helpless, died at the appointed time for the ungodly. Indeed, only with difficulty does one die for a just person, though perhaps for a good person, one might even find courage to die. But God proves his love for us and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. had gone into town to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, How can you, a Jew, ask me, a Samaritan woman, for a drink? For Jews use nothing in common with Samaritans. Jesus answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of God, and who was saying to you, Give me a drink, you would ask him that he would give you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you do not even have a bucket and a cistern as deep. How can you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us this cistern and drank from it himself with his children and his flocks? Jesus answered and said to her, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water I shall give will never thirst. The water I shall give will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me the water that I too may not be thirsty. Or I have to keep coming to draw water. I can see you are a prophet. Our ancestors worshipped on this mountainside, but you people say that the place to worship is in Jerusalem. Jesus said to her, Believe me, woman, the hour is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You people worship what you do not understand. We worship what we understand because salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is coming, is now here, 
when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. And indeed, the Father seeks such people to worship him. God is spirit. And those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to him, I know that the Messiah is coming, the one called the Christ. When he comes, he will tell us everything. Jesus said to her, I am he, the one who is speaking with you. Many of the Samaritans of the town began to believe in him. When the Samaritans came to him, they invited him to stay with them, and he stayed there two days. Many more began to believe in him because of his word. And they said to the woman, We no longer believe because of your word, for we have heard for ourselves, and we know that this is truly the Savior of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. I hope y'all caught most of that. I'm going to introduce Sister Dora. She's going to come up and talk about the work of the Little Sisters of the Poor. Good afternoon. Thank you, Father Tom and you parishioners for inviting us to celebrate the liturgy with you. I'm Sister Dora. With me today is Sister Sarah and our volunteer uh, Bob. No, Joe, I'm sorry. <laughs> our, um, we are Little Sisters of the Poor. Our founder, St. Jan Jugan, guided by the Holy Spirit, found Jesus in the person of Anne Schaffine, blind and paralyzed elderly woman whom she carried on a cold winter's night in 1839 from her hovel to her own bed and cared for her. More needy elderly knocked at her door and asked for her care. This was the beginning of the International Congregation of the Little Sisters of the Poor. Our mission is to offer the neediest elderly of every race and religion a home where they will be welcomed as Christ, cared for as family, and accompanied with dignity until God calls them to himself. St. John Jugon often said, making the elderly happy, that is what counts. We realize that making the elderly happy means believing in the value of their lives. Today, we are more committed than ever to promoting respect for the aged and a greater recognition of their dignity. On the second year's World Day for grandparents and the elderly, our Holy Father, Pope Francis, wrote, Old age is no time to give up and lower the sails, but a season of enduring fruitfulness. A new mission awaits us and bids us look to the future. Thank you for believing in our mission and upholding the dignity of elder persons who, despite the limitations brought by age, continue to enjoy life. We invite young people to come for their service hours and visit the elderly to learn from their wisdom and their courage to carry on in good times and in adversity. On the other hand, the elderly treasure the vitality and joy of the youth. As you know, the population of the elderly is rapidly increasing. We need more little sisters to care for them. Please continue your prayers for an increase of vocations to bring Christ's love and mercy to the ends of the earth. After Mass, uh, Sister Sarah and Joe and I will greet you and receive your gift at the door. If you are unprepared, we have envelopes for you to take home and send in at your convenience. 
We do receive checks. All you have to do to, is to address to us, Little Sisters of the Poor, sign your name, and we'll be too happy to fill in the rest for you. <laughs> we invite you to contact and visit us if you have a loved one or a friend who need a place to live and care for the rest of their lives. We have three levels of care individual living, which is apartment, assisted living, which need a little help, and total care. The admission age is from 60 onward. We are seeking elderly persons who are in the greatest need. Thank you for helping us to care for the neediest elderly with your generous gift, but even more importantly, by your prayers. The little sisters and their elderly pray for you daily and offer a mass monthly for your intention. May God bless you abundantly. It's time we have a fundraiser. I'm inviting her back. <laughs> I like that part about let us fill it in. <laughs> um, I will not be giving out communion tonight. Uh, if I got something that I, it's not COVID. I know that. Okay. It's I. I developed this allergy to trees in the last couple of years. And I had a funeral on Thursday, and the burial was under a tree that was blooming. So since then, my voice has been going. So hopefully, this too will go away. All right. So anyhow, um, <clears throat> I read something the other day. It said that the human body is seventy percent water. You have two and a half gallons of water in your blood. You have 15 gallons of water in your cells that produce other cells. You got 30 gallons of water throughout your whole system. So the one talking to you today is about 180 pounds of water. <laughs> we are living water. That's what's in us. Without that water, we can't live. Without that water, we'll die. We can go 30 days without food. But between one and four days without water, we die. Then it's about spiritual growth. It's about becoming new people in Christ. The water we need is the spiritual water that the Lord gives us. It is very simple. If we come to it, to the sacraments, we get that life. If we don't come to it, to the sacraments, like all things else, it will die. <coughs> You get two jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in one God.
Catholic Church, that we seek Christ and his living water in the sacraments, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For local, national, and world leaders, that they might make wise decisions for the good of the community, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the sick and those near death, and for their caregivers, that they know the compassionate love of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who no longer attend church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our youth who will receive confirmation this weekend, that they have the courage to continue to live their lives, their faith lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Judy Robbins, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we call upon you tonight to hear the prayers that we offer and grant them to us according to your holy will. And we ask this in Christ's name. Amen. Number 619, Come to the Water. Number 619.
pleased, O Lord, with these sacrificial offerings, and grant that we who ask pardon for our sins may take care to forgive our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift with your up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For when he asked the Samaritan woman for water to drink, he had already entered, created the gift of faith within her. And so ardently did he thirst for her faith that he kindled in her a fire of divine love. And so we too give thanks with the angels, and we pray your mighty deeds as we have claimed. similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, who poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. The Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and St. Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, and we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you and your Son, Christ. Through him, with him, in him, God Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is you forever and ever. <laughs> Teacher, we dare to say. Amen. 
said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity and according to your will, that lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. So Lord, be with you all. And with your spirit. Let's offer to you the sign of peace. Number 351, Supper of the Lamb, number 351.
Right. <clears throat> and we receive the pledge of these things yet hidden in heaven, and nourished while still on the earth with the bread that comes down from on high. <clears throat> we humbly ask you, Lord, that what is being what is being brought about in us in mystery may come to true completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Fish fries continue. Friday night was a huge success. It sold out. Yeah. So if you were late, I'm sorry. Uh, stations on Wednesday at six o'clock. Uh, the vocation cross. We're going to do that next week. When I got a chance to explain it. Uh, next Saturday from nine to three, we're going to be doing a cleanup on the ball field in the concession stand. So if you can help us, uh, it would be greatly appreciated. Bring buckets, scrub brushes, gloves, all that good stuff, okay? And the sister's at the door, so make sure you can't leave unless you give her something. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Number 462. I heard the voice of Jesus. Number 462.